We're not here to cause violence. We're not here to yell. When are we going to get our chance to be equal? We go! We go! We go! We We got to stick together. Tell you what freedom is to me. No fear. I mean, really, no fear. If I if I could have that half of my life, no fear. Lots of children have no fear. That's the closest way, that's the only way I can describe it. That's not all of it. But it is something to really, really feel. Ain't she gorgeous? The great old red, white, and blue. The star-spangled beauty for the world to marvel at. The country to which others whisk their children and tell tales of her greatness. The Boston Tea Party. The suffrage of women of 1919. The Industrial Revolution. The mass genocide of American natives. The 400 years of slavery. The war that begged the question of whether human life should be treated as property. A question you never gave a clear answer to. The segregation after refusal of reparations, the gerrymandering, the public displays of pure evil, the fake taste of freedom, strange fruit. Is it the American dream or the American nightmare, the grand American experiment or the grand American hypocrisy? What does freedom mean? How do you teach freedom in a democracy that believes education is not a commodity? Not allowing people to ascend past the actions of destructive nationalism, a country that believes in symbolic gestures of activism without any action. You refuse to educate your children so that they can blindly follow in your footsteps. You erase our history so that your children can repeat yours. You continuously deny your own character. Above all, you disenfranchise our children early so they do not get a say into their own future. You have handicapped us since the birth of a nation. The age of imperialism never died. It only morphed into something discreet, something sinister, something great. We are in fear of being stopped and searched for merely existing in our own neighborhoods. You think I'm a menace because of my nonviolent drug violations while you continue to make profit through pharmaceuticals? February, the month to celebrate the 15th Amendment, rights that don't extend to prison inmates or black women. An economy built at the cost of human rights rights you can throw at the stock market, $9 a share. You make us work in the face of death and destruction well no more. We won't let you blame centuries of systemic oppression on one fascist. We won't let you forget centuries of systemic oppression because of one fascist. That little boy is not in power. Merely the current embodiment of the irrational, racist, prejudiced fears of an intolerant institution. You preach peace when in power, but promote violence through your actions, arrest after arrest, coup after coup. A country with racism and sexism at its core structure should by no standard be the leader of the free world. Your democracy thrives off of racism. Too much for you to take, well too bad. You refuse to let us rest, so we won't let you. Not just for George or Brianna, but for Michael, for Tamir, for Christopher, for Trayvon, for Darius, for Ayana, for Rodney, for Martin, for Malcolm, for Emmett, and for every soul stolen from us too soon. So ask yourself, in this new year, in this new administration, will you continue to fight or will you remain complacent? What does freedom mean to you? and how will you use it?
Freddy, I don't even know who these niggas is. They get to singing when I'm running down. They sound like the whiz. My old bitch mad, but my new bitch kind of lit. 2K shells, Dr. Drake and Leo, big three flip. Ah. Rumor has it you ain't squeeze shit. Double killers on both sides, and he reads shit. All that slow talking, nigga, you don't fuck nigga.